What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my curious subscribers. So, welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps, who's side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading for all signs. I promoted Chiron Intuitions, one of his readings. If anybody wants to check it out, he's a really good reader. All right, so I've, I've had lots of downloads that are coming in after that last reading. Lots of downloads, so um, I'm going to offload them on separate readings. Hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do, who? Okay. All right, so the first one I received was someone is gaining an uh, entirely different perspective. Um, I heard facts and information is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates, like be you or somebody you're connected to. Someone's gaining an entirely different perspective of something, um, person, people, place, or situation, um, facts and information. But, uh, so whoever you are, you're gaining an entirely different perspective because of some kind of facts and information. If that resonates and applies for you, whoever this is for and how this resonates, okay? Um, that's good. That's really good. So we're going to pull some cards and see what we get. And just say, just saying. Okay. Spirit messages here, Apple Collective. <clears throat> Four swords reversed. A boss, uh, a boss of a feminine energy's past through many series of chain of events. They will end up in jail and prison down the line for abuse of power and alteration of documentation, strictly to gain money. Oh my God! Whoa! So you plug it in, how it resonates. So. Someone's boss of the past, whoever you are, you're a femme energy, and it's one of your bosses of your past. Whoever this is and how, however this applies for you. Um, through many series of chain events, they're about to end up in jail soon. I heard they altered documentation strictly to gain money. So I'm assuming they stole your money. I'm assuming, um, but they altered some kind of doc documentation to do it. Um, it was strictly behind the scenes. They never told you. No consent and authorization. Okay, I heard it was strictly behind the scenes. They never told you. No consent, no authorization. So, whoever you are, Fem Energy, um, it's a boss of your past. It can be a mask or Fem boss, any sign, I'm presuming. They um, altered, strategically altered documentation. Behind the scenes, no consent, no authorization. They never told you they did it. Of course they didn't because they wanted to gain money off of you. So they um, did all this behind the scenes. They knew information, but they did not tell you so they could gain money off your back, whoever you are. I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to end up in jail and um, then prison. So um, it, it sounds like they should. So you plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. We have four swords reversed, two of wands upright, knight of wands upright. Look, they're a thief. They're a thief. Number 24 can be a very significant number in one's life as well. Number 24. Um, confirmation of my phone, by the way. Okay. I apologize. Yeah, they're a thief. Experiments to just you have the Privileged lady. You're supposed to be the privileged lady. And we I heard take them both. Number 12, number one could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 12 or number one. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 12 or one.
someone knows this information, someone's about to deliver this information, someone's been having severe sleepless nights because they know what happened in the past, they're about to make a huge decision to take some action here. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So we've got somebody that knows this information, somebody's about to deliver this information, and somebody's about to take action on the situation. Um, somebody's having sleepless nights, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. You could uh, fit into this situation or not. Um, every reading's different, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But Okay, so somebody knows this information. Somebody's about, about to deliver this information. I think the person that knows this information, they've been having sleepless nights about it because they do know this information. Um, and um, But somebody's about to deliver it, and I heard they're about to take some action. So sleepless, restless nights, of like um, stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Decision, they, they made up their mind. They're about to deliver it. You could be the one that's about to deliver it to somebody and you know the information. You could be the one about to take the information and run with it. You could be the one about to take action. You could be police about to arrest these people. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. However that resonates, that applies. I feel for some, whoever these people are about to do this, I feel for some, they work at the uh, workplace, about to deliver it. For some, you guys, you could be police or investigators or feds, however that resonates and applies. Um, how that resonates and applies. This is pretty serious. This is theft from a, a former subordinate. I mean, this is serious. Serious crimes. I mean, serious breaking of the law here. Serious. So a decision's been made. It's about to happen. Action's about to take, uh, be taken. A desire, drive, and motivation towards the situation. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys, because they stole from you. We had thief on the bottom of the deck earlier. They stole from you, privileged lady. You're supposed to be the privileged lady. Um, for some, you still could be the privileged lady if you put a lot of desire, drive, and hard work and saving and investing into yourself. For some, you could still be the privileged lady um, by your own efforts. For, um, for some, but you're supposed, if you are the privileged lady, because you're pulling up as privileged lady, so I think you, <clears throat> I think they intentionally stole money from you because they knew you were going to be successful and they didn't want, they wanted to compete with you. They, they didn't uh, want you to have what was rightfully and just fully yours. Um, I did a reading on corporate conglomerate theft. Um, I think it was like a few days ago or something like that. I, I wonder if some of these cases is in, it's in a corporate conglomerate and I'm just being for real. I feel for some, it, it might be, but um, you plug in how it resonates, but you're still pulling up as a privileged lady. So I think you are growing and building and manifesting yourself, or you already have grown, built, and manifested yourself, regardless of the theft, regardless of it. Privileged lady, number 12, could be a very significant number, number 12. You had your rights and liberty stomped on. You have been sold from in a huge way. A huge way. But the energy shifting, and through many series of shame events, you're about to get major justice, major justice, behind the scenes from you and, and directly. Okay, I heard you've been stole from in a huge way, a huge way. Um, but through many series of shame events, you're about to get justice, um, behind the scenes justice from you. So I think one of the ways you're about to get justice is... Um, one of your former bosses is about to wind up in jail from stealing from you and altering documentation, which is a federal offense. I mean, that's huge. These are huge crimes. Huge crimes these people did. I mean, like organized crime activity here. Um, and it was premeditated. It was pre-planned and premeditated. I mean, this these people went. And what kills me about this, it was a former boss. So meaning they probably made a good bit amount more than you so not only did they make a good bit amount more than you probably but they wanted to take what was yours too what that makes no mental sense i mean it does for a criminal but if you do it the right way it it shouldn't that uh-uh 
Nay, nay, just saying. But somehow you made it out. You made it out, privileged lady. You're pulling up as privileged lady. You're ma you've made it out. You made it out of the dark times. I heard your rights and liberties were stomped on. You were stole from. I mean, these people just did the most to you. They did the most. They did the most. They did the most. And that's just the truth. Did the most. Okay, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard you're about to get major justice behind the scenes. So I think that's one of your bosses about to go to jail. And it sounds like I heard through many series of chain events that are going to end up in prison. So I think they're going to be convicted of charge or charges and ha I have to um, go through some kind of trial. Um, and it sounds like they'll be found guilty. Um, and they should be. They should be. I wonder if you're going to be subpoenaed as, as a witness. I didn't hear that you were going to be, but I wonder if you're going to. Um, and then May Mail. And then we have bad health reversed. So um, I don't think you're in bad health. I feel for some of these uh, bosses, maybe they try to make it out like you were in bad health. And for anybody that's interested, I just posted uh, some screenshots of the Munchausen, uh, Munchausen syndrome, uh, where uh, parents try to make it out like their children are ill, basically to gain money off their backs. Particularly, a lot of them like to do it through the Social Security Administration, just to let you know. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, that's one of the ways that they do it because you have to have documented diagnoses or diagnoses through the Social Security Administration to gain benefits off your child or children. Um, in some, in some cases, in some cases. So if the parent's not filing, so just saying, so, um, just saying. A masculine energy is really on to these people, really on to them. He's about to create many negative tower moments for them, many. Okay, I heard a masculine energy is really on to these people, really on to them. He's about to create many negative tower moments I heard for these people. So for some of you guys, it could be um, two or two plus bosses in your past. For some, it could be a boss and people that collaborated with boss. Maybe they stole the money from you and split it. Possibly. I didn't hear that. I just kind of intuitively feel it. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, there's a ma I heard a masculine energy. So he's definitely a masculine. He's on to these people. So the boss, former boss or bosses, people that help collaborate and steal the money and blah, 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 blah. I mean, greedy ass people. Greedy, greedy, greedy. They don't believe in earning their own money, apparently. Or they earn their own money and they want to go around and steal other people's money. They should just take what's just theirs. And that's just the truth. Because these things t lead to jail. They lead to prison. They lead to um, being on first 48 or le leading to be on the news. Um, and that's just the truth. A huge situation of the past, entrapment situation of the past is about to blow up on a former boss and their connections. This is about to be huge, 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 huge in a particular city and area. Okay, I heard an entrapment situation of the past is about to basically blow up on this former boss and others that had connects with this former boss. Um, an entrapment situation of you, privileged lady, is what I'm feeling. So an entrapment situation of you um, of the past, it's about to blow up. So they intentionally entrapped you in some shape, form, or fashion, intentionally, to steal your money, um, obviously, and other things, but um, I'm presuming. But 
it's about to blow up on the former boss and their connection. So I'm assuming the people, their connections helped him track you in some shape, form, or fashion. But it's about to blow up on them. So shit's about to hit the fans, it's about to blow up all over the place. Um, and um, um, he's about to expose it. He's about to expose it. So that's really great. That's really great. Um, that could be one of the ways you're about to get justice behind the scenes. And just, I heard you're going to get justice in the everyday world too. So your world, um, maybe he comes and meets with you or connects with you or tells you. Um, I don't know who this person is. I don't know if he's a private eye, a detective, a police officer, a, um, a fed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm presuming he's law enforcement of some shape, form, or fashion, though. I'm presuming. Um, or just a concerned citizen. Maybe he's going to, maybe he knows this information that your former boss uh, stole from you, and he's about to call it in. Um, he could be many people. I'm not sure who he is. Only he knows who he is. Maybe for some, you are this person. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one, you're a privileged, the privileged lady that they stole from, used, abused, exploited, and entrapped. I mean, they did the most to you, for one. And you're a femme energy. For one, you're this person. You're onto their ass. Um, you're about to expose them. So you plug it in how it resonates. I don't feel either one of you guys are in bad health because the next part was bad health reversed. I feel for some, they could have made it out like you were in bad health, privileged lady. Like the alteration of the documentation to make it out like you were in bad health so they could strictly steal from you is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. There's a reason they pulled up bad health reversed. So you're not in bad health. Um, I think they were probably claiming you were. They most certainly were claiming you were. Munchausen syndrome is about to become very significant in this. Very significant. Okay, I heard they most certainly were claiming you were ill. They were most certainly were claiming you were ill, uh, privileged lady. And Munchausen syndrome is about to become very significant in this. And like I said, I uploaded the screenshots of Munchausen syndrome um, on the community tab. If anybody's interested, you can take a look at them. It's very informative and uh, and it's very real. It's very real. People do it to their kids strictly to gain money off them and to control them with medication. Um, because once the children are controlled with medication, it's easier for them to control them. Um, abusive people do that a lot. They do it a lot. Um, and it's really sad. Uh, it's sad. That's one of the reasons why I don't believe you should be on medicine unless you really, really need it. And that's just the truth. Um, I tried uh, behavioral therapy with my son with ADHD with for many years, many years before I decided to put him on medicine. Many years, like three or four years, because I didn't want him. I saw my younger sister popped up on Adderall as a child. She was diagnosed with ADHD. I was not. I went in and was assessed for ADHD as a child. Um, they said I didn't have it. Um, I was never put on medicine. She was. And um, I saw how she looked like a zombie for years, my young, younger sister. And I didn't want that for my, my son. So I uh, told the counseling center I wanted them him to be on behavioral therapy to try to get, you know, to try to stray away from the medicine. And we did do behavioral therapy for many years, um, but he did need he did need the medicine, and it took years to adjust the medicine. But we finally got it adjusted, and that was good too. But people with Munchausen syndrome, whether it's an adult um, doing it on themselves or them doing it to a child or whoever, um, they they usually do it for control purposes. It's a psychological dis disorder and they do it for control purposes. And that's just the truth. So I wonder, I heard Munchausen syndrome is going to become significant in this. So I wonder if your boss tried to recreate that you, because uh, I heard they were claiming you were ill. They were claiming you were ill. So I think they were trying to uh, recreate like you were ill, like a Munchausen syndrome, except not like a parent to a child, like a boss to a subordinate for control purposes, strictly to take the money. I heard they stole a lot of money from you. Um, but they were creating, recreating, trying to recreate like you were ill to steal the money. But in reality, you're not ill. Wow, man, this is some, woo, this is some crap. Oh, this is evil at its finest. Evil and greed at its finest, if anybody needs to hear this. Oh, my God. Someone is getting a huge... Wake up call. Huge. 
Things are about to start moving very fast, very fast. Someone is getting a huge wake up call, huge, and things are about to start moving very fast, very fast. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, yeah, this is, this is, this is something I feel should be on the news and on true crime TV. Um, this is terrible. And, oh my God, this is terrible. Whoa. A masculine energy that has a lot of stolen money from a feminine energy through many series of chain of events. They're about to give it up. They realize the connections they're with are about to be under very hot water. And they're right, they are. They're about to give it up. Give it to a lawyer so the lawyer can, can connect with the feminine energy. Oh my God, this is, whoa. So a masculine energy has a lot of stolen money from a thin energy. So in this situation, you privileged lady, I'm feeling, he um, he has a lot of stolen money from you, whoever he is. This is a different situation. You plug in how it resonates. So he has a lot of stolen money from you, but you're still pulling up as a privileged lady because you went out and still did your thing. Um, I mean, people can still, still, still from you, but if you go out and grow and manifest yourself, you won't, you won't be, you know, a lack mindset, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, if you keep working hard. And that's just the truth. So I don't think you have a lack mindset. I think you went out and still did what you needed to do, saved your money, built yourself up, growing and manifesting, or has grew and manifested yourself. You're still the privileged lady. But there's masculine energy that has stole a shit ton of money from you. I heard he, through many series of chain of events, he's about to um, connect with a lawyer and get a lawyer give all the stolen money he stole from you to a lawyer and have the lawyer connect with you so you can have uh get so you can get the money that basically is yours that he's been holding hostage it sounds like strategically um been holding hostage he has strategically been holding it but it's falling apart for him and he knows it and it's going to continue to fall apart okay it's confirmation Heard he has been strategically holding it hostage. He's been strategically holding hostage. He don't want to give up the money. But I heard he knows it's going to be it's smart to do so. He knows it's smart to do so because, um, one, it's your money. And if it's your money, it's your money. It's not his money. But he's been strategically holding it hostage. I think he was hoping you would fail. But you're not failing. You're not going to fail. You make very good choices. And he's getting a huge wake-up call, and he's realizing this now. Okay, that's confirmation. I heard you're not going to fail. Uh, sorry, my key. He's so... Look, I want to show y'all. Look at him. Look at him. He's down there playing with me in the chair. He wants me to live on. Um, I heard you're not going to fail. You're not going to fail, and um, because you made good choices to make sure you don't fail, basically. So, um, I don't feel you're doing bad financially. Um, I don't feel you're hurting in the money department. I don't feel you're hurting in any department because you make, you're very, you're either very educated, very knowledgeable, or very intelligent, and you make good decisions for yourself, basically. Um, but he's getting a huge wake-up call now that you are. In the past, I guess he was mind-manipulated or mind-tricked or just wanted to believe that you didn't make good decisions. But in reality, you do because you're still pulling up as a privileged lady. I already was waiting for something bad to happen to you. Well, nothing's bad happened. Nothing bad has happened to you. You're still a privileged lady. So he's getting a huge wake up call. And through many series of chain events, I heard he's about to contact the lawyer to give up all this money to the lawyer. So, you, and then have the lawyer contact you so you can have the money. And really, that's the smart thing to do because he should have never had your stolen money to begin with. Because I heard he knows the people connected to him are in heavy hot water. And I heard confirmation from Spirit they are. So his connections are either, I feel they're either being investigated or they have been investigated or they're criminals or something shady is going on with his connections, either in the past or now in the present or will be in the future. But he's about to um, give the money up to a lawyer so you, you can have the money. But I heard it's your money anyway. So 
You plug it in how it resonates. This is whoa, whoa. This is blown into a huge thing and it's going to continue to blow into a huge thing until the uh, scales are balanced. Okay, I heard this is a blown into a huge thing, a huge thing, and I heard it's going to continue to blow into a huge thing until the scales are balanced. So, well, you shouldn't steal somebody's money and that's just the truth. That's the truth. I don't know what to say about that. And someone, a uh, privileged lady, you're about to get surprise communication soon. Very positive for you. It has been strategically withheld from you in the past, but it's about to come. Okay, and privileged lady, you're about to get surprise communication soon. I heard it's been strategically withheld from you in the past, but it's about to come. So, privileged lady, you're about to get, you might get communication from a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine, possibly. Um, but you, privileged lady, you're about to get surprise communication soon. I heard it's been strategically withheld, but it's about to come to you. So, some kind of uh, communication that has strategically been withheld from you. Uh, but it's about to come to you if this resonates for you. Um, whoever you are, privileged lady, this was definitely premeditated. Definitely. Strictly to steal your money. Whoa, I wonder if um, in one of these situations, the masculine energy about to give up the money to a lawyer, I wonder if he's your, your former boss, possibly, for one of you. I wonder if he's your former boss. I didn't hear he was, but I feel maybe in one of these situations, he might be your former boss. Because we're pulling in heavy former boss theft energy. For some, he may not be. For some, it might be a femme that takes on a heavy masculine, possibly. But I heard specifically a masculine was about to uh, take the money to a lawyer. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do, you guys, this is shysty people at its finest. And that's just the truth. Um, we need more upright people in, um, in the world. So these kind of things do not happen. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Because Munchausen syndrome is very, very serious and very real. And I feel from the channel messages and this reading that a former boss manipulated documentation in the system and tried to recreate like a former employee and a subordinate under him or her, because I heard former boss, former uh, employee under him or her was ill. But it wasn't like a parent to child Munchausen syndrome in that situation, even though that's still control to gain dominance and control over a child. It was a workplace dynamic to gain dominance and control over the subordinate for money and financial reasons. Whoa, damn, whoa, this is a reading. All right, I'm getting out of this. Love you guys, I'm gonna say.